Hey everybody, welcome to the KP Watershed channel. Thanks for coming back for another taste test video. I've been looking forward to this taste test for a long time. Literally thousands of you guys have commented requesting this one. It is time for White Horse Radish versus Red Horse Radish. Let's cut right to the taste test. So for those who aren't familiar, horseradish is a staple of the Jewish Passover Seder dinner. You got your white horseradish, you got your red horseradish. I will be tasting Gold's brand for both horseradishes, horseradish shy today. Uh, and as is tradition, I'll be taste testing both of these with gefilte fish. With gefilte fish is really the only way to have horseradish, especially at a Passover Seder dinner. And for this taste test, I'm so pleased to welcome to the show my good friend, Gary Gefilte. Gary, welcome to the KP Watershed Taste Test of Horseradish. <laughs> oh, of course, Gary. Of course, Double G. Hey, so Gary, before we get to the taste test, is there anything else you want to say to all your thousands of fans out there on the YouTubes? <laughs> oh, it's just great, Gary. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. I really appreciate it. All right, let's get to the taste test. As has been customary for thousands of years, we'll be going from dark colored horseradish to light color. That means that the red horseradish is up first. This is labeled as being horseradish and beets horseradish. I guess it's the beets that gives this horseradish the uh, pinkish, reddish, purplish color. It looks like, um, you know, it's a very condimenty color, if I had to describe it. Uh, it almost looks like a sangria uh, ketchup-y mix, if, uh, if I had to describe the uh, appearance of the color and consistency. Of course, it's the taste that matters so much here in a taste test. And for a horseradish, what I'm looking for is a nice, strong, pungent taste that really pops. Uh, a little bit of a bite as an aftertaste and a lot of bit of kick. I like a nice spicy horseradish. I think both of these, both the red and the white, are advertised as being spicy. Let's find out which one's got more kick and which has got the better overall taste and aftertaste from soup to nuts or from whitefish to trout, as they say in the gefilte world. All right, here's that red horseradish. Let's get a nice dollop on here. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little bit more on top. Can you see that? All oh, right. Oh, it looks. Oh, you nice. Got the nice legs on that horseradish. Uh, I can almost taste it in the back of my throat just from the uh, from the spiciness coming off the plate right now. Let's give it a taste. All right. So here we've got half a gefilte. Let's cut off a bite. Go for a nice dip. Now you want to get some of the solid mass as well as some of the liquidy horseradish broth, as it's called in the industry. And here we go. That's, that's nice. I'd say um, it's definitely got some kick. The, the, the spiciness is, is very much up front in the first part of the taste. And then you get more of a um, vegetable-y sweetness uh, on the swallow. That's very good. The red horseradish has got really a, a complex, sweet, spicy, and salty taste, which is um, really nice. It combines well with the um, complete blandness and non-taste of the gefilte, which is one of the best qualities of, of a good gefilte. You really want to have a gefilte that's nothing but a wet sponginess and um, kind of like a mucus type uh, feel to it. And uh, combined with the horseradish, that's quite a nice uh, Jewish dish right there. Oh yeah. All right, so I think everybody knows the standard grading scale for horseradishes. You got appearance, and for appearance, I got to give the red horseradish a solid A. It really is a nice look. Uh, that's, that's exactly the kind of look you want in a condiment. Then you got taste and flavor. As discussed, it's got a really nice complex flavor. Uh, it goes through a few stages as you go from initial bite to swallow. Really, really nice flavor. Let's give it an A for taste and flavor. And of course, the third and final criteria is how well it pairs with gefilte. And for the red horseradish, I gotta give it an A there too. So straight A's for the red horseradish. Nice job out of you, red horseradish. Really a strong showing. And as we see the slow-mo instant replay here, Gary Gefilte, what are your thoughts on this impressive performance by the Red Horseradish? Great stuff, Gary. Really great insight. It's such a pleasure having you here on the show. <laughs> well, the stage has been set. White Horseradish has got its work cut out for it. Let's see what it can do. White Horseradish, you're up. Bring it on. Well, 
here now is the cream style hot white horseradish. A nice name, nice strong billing there. As you can see, it looks a little bit creamier, less pulpy than the red horseradish. Let's get some on the plate there. Let's get a little more, another nice little dollop. You can see it doesn't quite have the same legs. It's more of a paste or a cream for sure. Here we got another half a gefilte, and let's give this baby a taste. Can I join you here? Alright, so such a tough act to follow. Oh. oh! Oh, I can feel it in my sinuses. Wow. That'll, that's quite a kick. You know? Whew. The spiciness is definitely superior with the white horseradish, which, as a fan of any and all things spicy, that keeps me coming back for a second bite. Oh yeah. Now I will say, as far as texture is concerned, the white horseradish is a little more boring and um, I would say less uh, texturally appealing than the red horseradish. It's uh, it's not a knock. Well, I guess it is kind of a knock on the white horseradish. It just it's got kind of like a pate look to it, which it doesn't really. It's it's not your ideal look for a condiment. Um, excuse me. You're right in the way of the camera. Can you please? Can you? Can you please? God damn it. Anyway, um, not a perfect texture. I'm gonna have to give it a C plus for texture. Now for flavor. You know, it's got nice spiciness, but it doesn't have that same complexity of the red horseradish. It's really just an initial spiciness, and then the, all the taste kind of disappears and is swallowed up by the uh, black hole nothingness taste of the gefilte. Really, although it's very spicy, the taste other than that is nothing to write home about. It's definitely salty, but besides the saltiness and spiciness, which hits you all at once in the beginning, there's really not much of an aster- after- There's really not much of an aster- other than the, the, other than the extreme spiciness and a little bit of saltiness that hits you on the initial bite, there's really not much of an aftertaste. All the taste kind of gets sucked into the uh, black hole taste nothingness of the gefilte, which is um, less than ideal. I'm gonna have to give the white horseradish. I'm gonna have to give the white horseradish a B for taste. I do like the spiciness, but. Uh, there's just not much else going on there. Just not quite as uh, balanced and uh, interesting as the red horseradish taste. And last but not least, how well it pairs with gefilte. I'm gonna have to give it another C there. Really, to have your taste swallowed up by the non-taste of the gefilte is not a good look, not a good taste. So, although I can't really imagine in what other context you might have white horseradish, even with the standard gefilte uh, pairing, it leaves a little bit to be desired. So, Gary Gefilte, it looks as if Red Horseradish is the clear winner here. What are your thoughts on the performance today by the White Horseradish? <laughs> I can't disagree, Gary. I cannot disagree with that. Well, everybody, that's all we got here today. Thank you so much for watching this taste test video. Uh, hopefully you learned a thing or two about horseradish, and it's always a pleasure, of course, to see our good friend, Gary Gefilte Fish. Everybody, let's give one more round of applause for our good friend, Gary Gefilte. <laughs> Well, thanks again for watching. We got lots more great videos coming here soon to the KP Watershed channel, so stay tuned for that, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Straight A's for the Red Horse Radish. Nice job out of you, Red Horse Radish. Really a strong showing. you learned a thing or two about horseradish and of course it's always a pleasure for everybody to see our good friend Gary Gaflitter. Everybody, <laughs> Gary Gaflitter. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey everybody, welcome to the KP Watershed channel. Thanks for coming back for another taste test video. This is a taste test... Oh. That's not good. So, for all your fans out there, Gary, do you have anything to say before we get to the taste test? Wow, that'll that's quite a kick. You know? Whew. <laughs> Guys, you gotta chill with this. <laughs> I watch the show, he's like, what you got to doing that's great. He's like, I listen to the soundtrack too, but he's like, I can't sing along because I thought he's the presidency. <laughs> I can't disagree there, Gary. I can't disagree. Well, so, Gary... Oh. 